Hi there, welcome. My name is Dina Falcone. I'm an herbalist, educator, and the author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies and Heavenly Hair. And I just released my new online course, wildfoodhealthboosters.com. So, what's happening right now in the landscape that you want to get to know? St. John's wort, Hypericum perforatum of the Hypericaceae family. This is a perennial that is very worth getting to know. It's a wildflower. Why do you want to get to know it? What's amazing about St. John's wort? The gifts of this plant are that it's a very, how would you say, it's a vulnerary. It helps deal with wounds. It's an analgesic. It helps with pain. It's a mood lifter for some folks. It's basically sunshine captured in this plant. And um, yeah, so where are you going to find this plant? You're going to look for it in gardens, in disturbed soil, in anthropogenic sites, in sites where humans are creating the landscape along roadsides, also along waterways, but it prefers well-drained, poor soil. I am standing on super dry, rocky shale bank at the edge of this garden. So where in the world does this grow? Where is it native to? Native to Europe, Central China, North Africa, Western Himalayas, but it is spread all over the world, spotted all about zones three to nine. It's considered an invasive weed in some areas. Here, it's not that invasive here in the Mid Hudson Valley in the Northeast in New York. So come on over. I want to show you how to ID this properly. Here you can see the plant a little more closely. We're moving up it and you are meeting this in peak harvest moment. You can see that these flowers are opening and the buds of the flowers are also present. Perfect moment for medicine making. We're going to ha harvest flowering tops for making our medicine and we clip it six or so inches, six to eight, maybe even ten inches down. So you're just getting what are called the flowering tops that includes flower, flower bud, and leaves. Okay, let me give you a close-up now of ID. So for the ID clues, we want to note we have opposite leaf arrangement, opposite. They're symmetrical, pointing to each other, mirror image. Other things to note is that these leaf margins, the edges of these leaves, are entire. They have no serrations. I'm going to try to rotate this so you can see the bottom. You can see the veining, which has a kind of a parallel, parallel veining vibe. I believe there's slate netting in there, but Okay, I'm going to move on to just show you the flower right here. Look at that gorgeous flower. And here you're seeing a five petaled yellow flower with very active reproductive parts there in the center. Got that five petaled yellow flower. I also want you to just take in when these flowering tops are actually pre-flower and they are in bud. And this moment is also incredibly potent. There's lots of medicine in here at this stage. And while I have you, I just want to show you what happens when I pick it and crush it. Squeeze. Can you see what happens there? There's that purple blood style <laughs> stain happening. That's your medicine. That's hypericin plus other compounds. Okay. Let me just talk a little bit more. Actually, nope. I want to give you one more ID clue. Come on over here. 
Hypericum perforatum has hypericin dots. They're the little black dots that you often see in the leaves. Hoping you can see a little bit of that happening now. And perforated, perforatum for the perforated look of the leaf. So you see these little holes that aren't truly holes, but these translucent circles throughout the leaf. Pretty important ID features when you have leaf only. Cool. What you see here is the St. John's wort flowering tops drying for about 12 hours, not fully drying, just slightly wilting before they get infused into the cold pressed organic olive oil to make herbal infused St. John's wort oil. So if you want to make a tincture, you don't need to wilt your St. John's wort at all and you would put this into 150 proof menstruum. 75% alcohol, 25% water, and again you're using these flowering tops, you're including some of the leaf. I tend to strip out that central stalk. Okay, what are you going to do with this once you have it? Once you have this herbal infused oil, this St. John's wort infused oil, or this tincture, how do you use it? Topically, I use it in massage oils, I use it in facial creams, I use it in healing balms. Um, it's used to heal wounds, to reduce inflammation. It's used for nerve inflammation, for nerve pain. Let's say I have the tincture and I've got a dental pain. I would put that tincture straight on that dental pain. Or if somebody has a wound, you could soak, they've banged their finger. You can soak that finger in the St. John's Wort oil or the tincture. If it's an open wound, be careful. <sighs> I'm throwing a lot at you quickly. Don't forget though, this is a, just a wonderful plant to use for pain and inflammation that's nerve related. So you're going to use it topically and you can also use it internally. However, if you're going to use it internally, you have to check in with your healthcare provider and assess whether it is right for you. There's a lot of contraindications these days with the use of St. John's wort internally. So don't forget, you've got a nervine analgesic I just can't say enough about how amazingly important this plant is for your herbal medicine chest. Again, you need to know how to use it. So I know I'm throwing a lot at you. A couple more thoughts on St. John's wort. Urinary incontinence. It's often used to strengthen the bladder to help with incontinence. It's also used as an anti-anxiety or an uplifting herb. I tend not to use it that way, but it has a lot of use to moderate mild depression. Also, for the seasonal affective disorder. So when people are feeling down in the winter, they can get lifted with the sunshine energy of St. John's wort. And lastly, it's an astringent. So just keep that in mind that it has a sort of a tightening, drying quality. Those are my thoughts. There is so much more that St. John's wort has to offer, but let's leave it at that. Happy St. John's wort picking, hoping that you're gonna find some in your neighborhood. And if you've enjoyed this, do check out my new online program, Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.